Haley and I'm Ryan and today we're hiking at Mill Creek Metro Parks which is located in Youngstown mm -hmm. and Boardman Ohio yeah Mill Creek's a great park it's got lots of hiking lots of biking trails has uh, lakes that you can do some kayaking and paddle boarding in it's a lot to offer people yeah today we're hiking about 4.4 miles it's called the Landerman's Mill Trail but there are a ton of trails all throughout Mill Creek yeah. Park and there's a lot of really cool things to see like behind us you have the covered bridge you have the Lairman's Mill mm -hmm. you have a suspension bridge or sometimes known as the Princess Bridge there's a lot to be offered here so we fully recommend it So right now we're inside the Lannerman's Mill. Uh, Two dollars, you can get into the front door and you can take a, a quick little self-guided tour. There's a floor downstairs and there's two floors upstairs. And they have a nice little gift shop too where you can get some flour they grind here at the mill. Um, after all these years, the mill is still working. They're still running water through it and grinding flour today. is a replica of the original wheel that was here when the mill was operating back in, back in the 1800s. It's the heart of the mill. And if you see here, this gear is turned by the water wheel, which turns the piston all the way at the top and grinds the flour that's on the second floor. hike you head south towards Newport Lake which is also towards uh, Boardman Ohio why we're hiking today is to prepare for Kilimanjaro so we just want to get miles in and test out our new equipment this mm -hmm. is actually our first time that we're hiking with so much weight we both are right now carrying about four liters of water mm -hmm. and we're trying to carry anything else we might want on the mountain like electronics and just anything yeah so this is like our first time out with new packs new shoes uh, we're seeing what works for us we're making changes on the fly and uh, just kind of tweaking some things right now. Yeah, one nice thing about Osiri backpacks is they're very adjustable. You can even adjust the height of how mm -hmm. high you want your backpack. He's already had to change his, yeah. even the straps. It's very adjustable for each person. Yeah, it's really simple too. You can do it on the trailhead if you need to move some weight around or something. Uh, I love these Osprey packs. Uh, they're a little heavier than some packs you can get, but I think it's worth it for like some of the amenities that you get with them.
is Lake Newport, and this is the kayak and canoe launch here at the lake. Uh, for a fee, you can store your own kayak and your own canoe here and take it out whenever you want. Uh, Newport Lake's a really great lake to do kayaking, canoeing on. It's, it's very flat most of the time, not a lot of waves, and it's just a really nice, quiet place to uh, take a kayak out. Behind me is Daffodil Meadow, and this is a really pretty place to come in the spring, like early spring. The whole field behind me will be filled with daffodils. on kind of what gear that we hike generally with. So right now I'm wearing Solomon shoes, outdoor research gaiters, which are really nice so you don't get like rocks or debris in your shoes. Uh, the yogas that I'm wearing are Lululemon, uh, Patagonia shirt, black diamond hiking sticks. Uh, this is a Sunday afternoon hat. It looks goofy, but it is gonna be really nice in Africa and when the sun is beating on you. I like this one because it has some breathable material and it's flappy on the back so it doesn't um, hit your backpack, which I am wearing the Osprey backpack. We also film with our iPhone, sometimes a DJI drone. We clearly have the GoPro right here and we use the DJI Osmos to balance our phone. So continuing with our gear review and what we're wearing here today, uh, I've got the Solomon X Ultra uh, mid, mid height hiking shoes. I really like Solomon's, I'm a huge fan. I've been wearing Solomon's for a long time on a lot of different hikes and they make some of the best shoes around. Uh, I'm wearing uh, the Cool cutoff, kind of like zip pants. Um, I love Cool. Cool's like one of the coolest companies there are. I'm a huge fan. I try to get as much as I can of them. They're made in Utah and I love those guys. Uh, Patagonia shirt, I like wearing light long sleeve shirts when we go on hikes, you know, you can roll them up if you're getting hot, but if you're getting eaten by bugs like we are right now, <laughs> we can uh, roll them down and protect you from the bugs in the sun. Uh, I have the Osprey uh, Stratos 36 ounce or 36 liter pack and Trail Buddy hiking sticks and that's what I'm using today.
hike. Uh, so there are two four mile hikes when you come to this Lanterman's Mill. You can either go north or south and we do recommend the other way. So one's a four miler and another is a 4.4. Today we hike 4.4, but we take the dogs on the four miler a lot and we think it's a lot better view and you get to see the suspension bridge yeah. and some other cool like parts of Mill Creek. So it was nice going around Lake Newport, but we would recommend the other trail over this one. Yeah, Mill Creek's a great park, has a lot to offer. Uh, it's just a nice place to go hang out with your family, take your dogs, go in a kayak. You know, it's a, it's a nice hike. So come out here if you're ever in this uh, area and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you can get some more uh, content from us. Yep. Thanks. See ya.